Hello, good morning everyone. Today I am here with the very second video of the very second chapter of geography from integrated social science and that is latitudes and longitudes. Okay, so in the previous video we have discussed a brief uh, description on parallels and meridians. Like we have learned that uh, the globe which is a true representation of the earth has two set of circles okay one set are called parallels and the other set uh, are of circles are called meridians okay so let us see which topics we have uh, covered till now so the topics which we have covered till now is the very first uh, two topics that is the introduction and a brief description on parallels and meridians Today we will be reading about parallels or latitudes as well as important parallels, okay. So let us move on with this module. We already studied in the very first video about parallels, isn't it? Parallels are the horizontal lines, okay. As you can see here, these are the horizontal lines, okay. And these are the set of circles between the North Pole and the South Pole. And they are running from west to east. Okay. And these circles should be parallel to the equator. You can see here that the circles are parallel to the equator. Since then these lines run parallel to each other, they are called lines of latitude or parallels of latitude as well. Okay. The uh, as you can see here, all parallels are complete circles. As you can see here in the video, all parallels are the complete circles except the 90 degree as well as 90 degree south. Okay, 90 degree north and 90 degree south because these are just points. Okay, the equator is the largest parallel. The equator is the largest parallel and the length of other parallels decrease as one moves away from equator okay if you will be moving towards the north pole you will see that the length of the other parallels will decrease the same way if you will be moving around the south pole you will see that the uh, length of the other parallels decreasing okay and all parallels are located at, a, at an equal distance you will see uh, here in the figure it is very clear that they are equidistant okay they are at an equal distance from each other and at an interval the distance between any two parallels at an interval of one degree on the surface of the earth is about 111 kilometers what is the distance between these two parallels or any two parallels on the surface of the earth that is 111 kilometers okay uh, you must be thinking that these lines are uh, actually drawn on the earth and is quite visible. No, it is not. It, these lines are imaginary. Okay. So, there are 90 degrees in the north and 90 parallels uh, in the southern hemisphere. Okay. There are 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere. As we have already studied that equator is the imaginary line which divides the earth into two hemispheres the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere okay so there are 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallels in the southern hem southern hemisphere hence including this equator okay there are 181 parallels there are 181 parallels in the last uh, module i have already told that we will be discussing about why these parallels are 181 in total we will be discussing it in the next video so here I am discussing this, okay, there are 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallels in the southern hemisphere and when we include the equator, okay, there are 181 parallels on the earth, okay. The parallels near the equator are said to be in low latitudes, okay, the parallel near to the equator, those parallels which are near to the equator are called to be in low latitudes and the parallel those near the poles okay the, the the north pole and the south pole are in the high latitudes are in the high latitudes okay the equator is the only great circle while other parallels are small circles okay the equator is the only great circle while the other parallels are all small circles 
so apart from these parallel lines some parallels are quite important okay they are very much important as you can see here the axis of the earth is inclined at an angle of 66 and a half degree north to the plane of its orbit we have already discussed this also in the very first video let us see uh, move to that video also as you can see here here in this figure okay as you can see here that the earth the axis of the earth is inclined at an angle as you can see here at an angle okay the axis of the earth is the axis of the earth this is the rotation axis and this is inclined okay at an angle of 66 and a half degree 66 and a half degree to the plane of the orbit to the plane of its orbit okay and this inclination this inclination of the earth's axis help us mark the following important parallels okay let us see what are those important parallels it is quite evident in this figure okay the inclination of the earth's axis help helps us mark the following important parallels on the globe the very first one you can see here the tropic of cancer at 23 and a half degree north the tropic of capricorn at 23 and a half degree south the arctic circle at 66 and a half degree north and the antarctic circle at 66 and a half degree south okay other than these important parallel there are other important parallel uh, parallels also which we have discussed in the first video we used to take those as reference for describing the location of any place okay and those important parallels are the first one is the equator which is also known as the great circle okay which is at zero degree the north pole at 90 degree north and the south pole at the 90 degree south okay so the axis of the earth is inclined at an angle of 66 and a half degree to the plane of its orbit this inclination of the earth's axis help us mark the important parallels on the globe let us revise those important parallels starting from the tip of uh, the globe north pole at 90 degree arctic circle at 66 and a half degree north tropic of cancer at 23 and a half degree north equator at 0 degree tropic of capricorn at 23 and a half degree south antarctic circle 66 and a half degree south south pole at 90 degree south okay so we'll be understanding here that how we can measure latitudes okay how we can measure latitudes as you can see here that the distance of a place the latitudes help us describe the location of the place whether it is to the north of the equator or to the south of the equator okay the place the distance of a place north or south of the equator is measured as an angle okay this angle is the latitude of that place this angle is the latitude at of that place okay the latitude of a place is the distance of that place north or south of the equator measured as an angle whose vertex is is at the center of the earth whose vortex is at the center of the earth okay the latitude of a place is always expressed in degrees as you can see here 0 degree 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree 40 degree 50 degree 60 degree 70 degree 80 degree 90 degree uh, and because these all are in the northern hemisphere we will call them 0 degree north 10 degree north 20 degree north 30 degree north 40 degree north 50 degree north and so on okay up to 90 degree north as we have already studied that uh, there are 181 parallels okay 90 uh, 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallels in the southern hemisphere including the equator it becomes 181 okay so the latitude of a place is always expressed in degrees as we know that there are total 
360 degrees in a circle okay how many degrees are there in a circle there are 360 degrees in a circle okay so it is and each degree of latitude is divided into 60 minutes and a minute is further subdivided into 60 seconds okay the equator is taken as the starting line this equator that is which is at 0 degree is taken as the starting line and thus marked as 0 degree latitude okay the distance between the equator and the north pole is 1/4 okay as you can see 1/4 it is okay so 1/4 of 360 One fourth of three sixty is ninety degree, and thus the latitude of the North Pole is ninety degree, written as ninety degree north. And the same way, the South Pole is also one fourth of the circle. That is why one fourth of three sixty is ninety degree. The latitude at the South Pole. is written as 90 degree 90 degree south okay while writing latitude of a place the letter n or s is always added to the angular distance okay if we are writing 10 degree to the north of the equator we have to uh, write it as 10 degree north okay and if we are indicating 10 degree to the south of the equator we have to write 10 degree south 10 degree s okay this indicates whether the place is in northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere okay this was all for today in the next video we'll be reading about the meridians the heat zones and how to locate places with the how to measure longitudes okay on the globe and what terms are to be used till then thank you and have a nice day do see the video again and again so that you will get a clear picture of the chapter